This is my jug of water. It is one gallon and I drink this every single day when I'm cutting. Okay, it is dull, it is boring, it is unimaginative, it's fucking water, okay? All it does is fill you up. It's a filler. It's a clear, boring, dull filler that helps you not feel hungry all day while you're on a cut, okay? What do you do? You throw some flavor enhancers in here. Lemon, lime, Mio's, Crystal Light, whatever. You put it in here so you can get through this fucking jug of water, okay? This movie is this fucking jug of water, minus the fucking flavor enhancements. Boring, dull, and hard to fucking get through. All right. Let's get through this. <laughs> Tonight, we are talking about the movie Sacrilege. <sighs> okay, I have said this since the beginning of my YouTube career, if you want to call it. Way back, I don't even know how long I've been on YouTube. This is my third channel. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Since day one, since I posted my first fucking video, probably 10 years ago, way back in the day, on Doom Gorium. I have always said the same thing. It does not matter what size budget you have for your movie, whether it's you have like a billion dollar budget or you have like a do-it-yourself zero budget. It does not matter. One of the key elements to any movie, any budget, any style is the writing, okay? If you don't have a good story or if it's not written well, or if you don't have some sort of fucking development and, and, and writing skills to give to your actors, they have nothing to work with. <laughs> and that is this movie, okay? The acting isn't that bad. The direction isn't that bad, considering it's his first full-length feature, David Creed. But he also wrote this movie. And... and the, the writing in this movie is terrible. It's absolutely fucking terrible. It's, it's an hour and a half movie, and I, I swear to God, it's an hour and 20 minutes of filler. Like, there is just, there's nothing in this movie that you haven't seen before. And there's just so much stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. It almost looks like they wrote portions of this movie, but they had no idea how to write portions of this movie. It's awful. <laughs> it really is. And I went on IMDb, which I know I shouldn't do, and I read some of the reviews, okay? And so, <laughs> I don't know if it's just people jumping on to try and save this movie, but it's like a lot of people are saying the same thing. So you can tell it's just probably cast, crew, family members saying, this is good British horror. This is good old-fashioned British horror. Well... If this is good British horror, then for fuck's sakes, I don't want to see the bad British horror. Like, <laughs> honestly, oh, this is a five-minute short film. It, it honestly is. Like, the, the, the writing chops are, are not here in this movie. The direction isn't that bad. The acting, for the most part, isn't that bad. But there's just, there's nothing in this movie. Nothing. It's, it's everything that we've already seen. It's it, like tropey and, and cliche after cliche after cliche. The story itself, four lifelong friends head to, head to a remote lodge for a weekend of fun. Well, ho, ho, we're getting off to a good start right there because we've never heard that one before. What begins as an idealistic retreat quickly descends into a fight for their lives when a local pagan cult offers them up to their goddess as a sacrifice for the solstice. Ooh, <laughs> like, okay, that part might sound good. It's de definitely not original, but the way it, it's put forth in this movie is awful. <laughs> like, I, listen, I know the director wrote this movie, and I don't know if he had, like, a bunch of... I don't know how he wrote it, okay? I don't know if he wrote the script, and then he gave it to his friends, 
and they were all a bunch being being a bunch of yes men saying, oh, this is fantastic. This is great. Go ahead. Go. Listen, if I had one of my friends give me this script, the way this is put on on the, the screen, and I don't give a fuck what the budget is. Like I said, whether it's $10 or $10 million, it makes no difference. Okay. I would say, dude, no, <laughs> we, you need to fix this fucking story and change a whole bunch of dialogue and key points and the ending. Jesus Christ, don't even get me started with the fucking ending of this movie. I'm going to tell you what the ending is. I'm going to, here's my hand going up. Okay. When my, if you don't want to listen to this part, turn the volume off or fucking plug your ears. Okay. This is the ending of this movie. Okay. So there's two people left and they have a van. Okay. The, the townsfolk who are all part of this, this pagan cult are standing at the exit way onto this roadway. One girl's hurt. She's in the driver or the passenger side. The other girl gets in the fucking van after she beats the shit out of some imaginary ex-boyfriend, gets in the van and drives away slowly as the fucking, as the, as the pagan town folk just stand there and watch her drive by. And then that's the end of the movie. And I'm not even making that shit up. Okay. I, I saw that and I was like, no. No, that, that is not the ending. Yep. That's the ending of this movie. <laughs> like, holy fuck. <sighs> I don't know, guys. <sighs> Listen, there's nothing new in this movie. You might watch this and like this movie. I, I, I don't know. I sat this, sat down and watched this and I was rolling my eyes after about the first five minutes. It's just everything. And I mean everything that we've already seen in a movie. And this, this, it's so stupid what these characters do, where they go to this fucking cult festival and sit through it like it's just no big deal. You've got a priest that cuts his fucking hand and is doing some blood ritual. And, and the four friends don't even think anything of it. And then in the, the, the priest cuts his hand with a huge dagger, okay? Cuts his hand. And then in the very next scene, He's over talking to the four girls like this with his hands. There's no cut on his hands. That's low budget though, so I'll give it that. But the fact that none of these girls thought that there was something weird going on, it's just, you have to see how their characters react. It's, it's, it's priceless. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's, let's just take our characters and put them in an absolutely stupid scenario. And then bad shit happens to them. Their worst fears come to life. One girl's afraid of dogs. The other girl's afraid of getting old. You know, because she's, she's an Instagrammer or whatever. You know what I mean? Always clicking pictures of herself. It's just cliche after cliche after cliche. Trope after trope after trope. It's Anyways, listen, I'm not even going to get into it. I'm just going to stop there. To give this a rating, I'll probably give it a 3 out of 10. Okay? The writing is terrible. It really is. And again, I've said this before. I don't care what the fucking budget was. I don't care if it was $5 or if it was $5 million. It does not matter. If you have a bad, badly written story, it, it's, it's just, it shows on the screen. Okay. It's his first time. I'll give him that, but God damn, like, I don't know who, who you gave this to, to, to pre-read this before you actually started filming, but they should be ashamed of themselves because, I mean, you've got something that probably could have had some potential, but I mean, I've seen more, more than enough first time directors put their, their movies to film. And listen, you don't even know, you don't even need me to say the movies that I'm talking about guys. So anyways, sacrilege it's out now, go watch it, go watch it. And then you'll see exactly what I mean. Is this the best British horror movie? Is this classic old school British horror? <sighs> like I said, if it is, then I do not want to see the fucking bad British horror. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, guys, Sacrilege, it is out now. Yeah. Go watch it and then come back here and let me know what you think about it. Unbelievable. Until next time, guys. Stay scared. Stay scared.